me, you know I ain't lying Cause I ain't wasting time You said soon we'll be leaving this place How you been looking, had a fight I was the making of my mind I put them words the only they oxidize Hello, good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gia. I am a second year medical student and today I'm at the AAMC conference in Phoenix, Arizona and I'm here to present a poster and also just attend the sessions and see what's up in medical education. I am actually part of the AAMC Organization of Student Representatives for my school. I'm the representative for my class, so I am here representing my medical school as well. Um, so I'm just going to go to some of the sessions today, see there's some really interesting things that I'm looking forward to, to seeing and hearing what the speakers have to say today. So I'm going to try to take you guys along and hopefully film some stuff. I don't really know what I'll be able to get, but I will hopefully get some stuff and, you know, we'll see. No, 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 no. Try to if it's clear. Wall of reflection with a careful tension. When there is some fraction, we can't get any close without touching. I said, I can't put my hand there without going through it. Without us both, the going through it. And they say the day you die is when you meet your mask. So you probably hope that I cut you some slack and that wouldn't be too bad. If I didn't have to eat, but if I can't sleep in the shower, I'd maybe an hour. Cause now I know the difference. Now I know the difference between a prayer and a Hello! I am back from the conference sessions today. Um, there were some really interesting things that I, that I attended, especially this one about how women are becoming the majority in medical school classes and how that kind of progresses to, you know, the medical field in general and talking about the challenges that women face in certain fields where they're still not a majority at all. Um, for example, orthopedic surgery has the lowest percentage of women um, and challenges that women are facing trying to go into those fields, experiencing when they're already in those fields and trying to mentor women early on to kind of get an interest in fields that may not have a lot of women in them, which I think is really cool. They also talked about, you know, addressing the gender pay gap that exists in medicine as well as in basically all fields, which is, you know, it is a big issue and there's, there's a lot that can be done to address it. So I think all the awareness that they're raising was awesome. I will say the audience was like 90% women. Um, so that was like good and bad. I mean, you can take it either way, but the speakers were really, really, really cool. Um, they had very interesting things to say. I took some video, so I'll put it in before this, probably. But yeah, I had a great time. I learned some things. I learned a lot of things. And yeah, I'm excited to kind of get all my notes together and then take back to my school some initiatives that we could, we could participate in and some takeaways that I got from the sessions. So that's pretty exciting. I'm just back at my hotel room now. I'm gonna relax for a little bit and 
do some work probably we have a dinner with like the dean of my medical school and everyone else from my medical school who was here at the conference there are a few other students and then some people from administration and all kinds of people so we are all gonna get together to go to dinner so that should be exciting and yeah i'm just gonna do a little bit of relaxing a little bit of work before that i'm like very tired for some reason even though i slept for a really long time last night because we had a long day yesterday but yeah i just gonna get some work done but i'll talk to you guys later i might have lied when i said i was gonna do work because i'm watching twilight Hi, so I watched Twilight <laughs> and then I did some work, but now I am getting ready to go out to dinner. I am just going to finish blow drying my hair and do my makeup and I think me and the other students from my school are going to meet up um, before the dinner for a little bit just to grab a drink. Um, so I'm going to do that and then... Yeah, and then go to the dinner, and hopefully it'll be fun. Um, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm gonna finish, finish drying my hair and getting ready. too much boy brow on. This is verging on that. This is the struggle when you don't know how to do makeup. <laughs> I should never be allowed to do a makeup tutorial in my life. Like, that is just something that I don't have the skills to do. Just not for me. I can do other things, but I cannot do a makeup tutorial. If you ever see me doing a makeup tutorial, just know that 
it's gonna be bad. This is it. <laughs> this is the end of me doing my makeup. And that's it. Oops. Oh my god. What? How did that happen? Okay, so. Oh my god, I still have it on my face. That is the end of me doing my makeup very poorly in my hotel bathroom. Um, yeah, I am going to go meet up with the other students from my school and grab a drink with them. And then, yeah. Okay, the view from my hotel is not great, but this just looked so pretty and peaceful, the sunset, all the palm trees. going on I'm just gonna go to brunch with one of my friends who's here at the conference and then head to the airport because my flight's at 1 and it is like 9 ish right now so yeah I'm just gonna go to brunch that's gonna be my last experience in Phoenix it was amazing so warm and I'm going back to a snowy place so that's pretty pretty sad but I liked my little escape into warmth. It was beautiful, beautiful weather. Seriously amazing. So, yeah. Talk to you guys later. traveling for quite a while. It was a pretty long flight. I'm relatively tired, ready to go to bed, get a good night's sleep, and I don't know, just get back into a routine for my week. Um, it was a tiring weekend, pretty nonstop, so I'm ready to get a little, a little relaxing in. Um, but it was amazing to get away for the weekend. I met a bunch of awesome people at the conference, and it was just nice to have a change and something interesting to do um, apart from, you know, the regular studying and going to classes and whatnot. So it was awesome. And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and just being there for the ride. Um, it was 
it was really nice to just be able to kind of film and hopefully I got enough footage and everything. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram at Gia Studies Medicine. It will be linked in the description below. And have an awesome day or rest of your day. And I will catch you in my next vlog. Bye.